Welcome to Sales IQ's Actionable Marketing Webinar. Unlike our other sessions, this isn't going to be a webinar. We are entering an uncharted territory here for the very first time. This is going to be a face-to-face sit-down. For that, we have Vidya here with us. The very first time I met Vidya, that's my first time in being a friend of a Zoho long timer. I automatically started addressing her, ma'am. She stopped me midway and said, Please don't ma'am me, I already feel like a dinosaur around everyone here. I wanted to say, well, you are one in terms of the wealth of information you have about communities and every other operation that happens here at Zoho. I didn't though. It's a pleasure to welcome Vidya Vasudevan, head of Zoho community, to our session today. Hello Vidya, welcome to Sales IQ's Actionable Marketing Webinar. How are you doing? I am good, Pratish. Thank you for having me here. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Folks, before we start the session, I want to give a clear idea about how we have designed this session as it's a new structure. For the first 30 minutes, we'll have an in-depth conversation about the potential of communities and what they can do for every size of businesses, starting from startups to enterprises. We'll have a Q&A session following the discussion. You can post your questions in the chat section and Vidya will answer them. Without further ado, let's start with our first segment. There are so many definitions and theories out there. But from your perspective, what is community and what is the need for having a community? Okay, so I would say community is a platform that brings together people who share similar interests and um, common needs. It's a space that gives its members a sense of belonging. And um, talking about the need for a community, um, can you tell me when was the last time you purchased a mobile phone or signed up to a course without uh, seeking opinions from your peers? It could be family, friends, or spaces like Reddit or Quora. Right? So we don't make any decisions without uh, seeking out opinions or validations from our peers. Today, customers have plenty of options to choose from. They no longer buy based on just advertisements or brochures or what the salespeople tell them. Uh, thriving community actually um, influences buying decisions. So it makes sense for businesses um, of any size to have a good community around their brand. That's great. Uh, my second question is, for those who doesn't know how the com- structure of a community team works, what is the basic structure of a community team and what do they focus on? Um, okay, so when we started out building this um, community for Zoho, uh, it was more like everyone on the team doing everything. You know, we wore multiple hats. We learned something every day and we still do. Um, as we started getting into the groove, we felt the need to have defined more specialized roles for each of the community touch points. So, strategizing engagements online and offline, coordinating with a lot of internal teams to plan and execute. Uh, managing partner relations, partner interactions, uh, creating the right kind of content that drives engagement, building um, deeper, uh, more meaningful relationships with uh, customers to understand their uh, brand adoption and how uh, they perceive the brand, and uh, creating and managing rewards and recognition programs. These are some of the activities uh, core to a community team, at least it is here. and. Um, Community marketing and social media management is also crucial for uh, getting the word out. So for mature communities, uh, considering uh, depending on the scale, uh, there could also be need for designers and developers to handle the creative and uh, development requirements. Um, So our team is uh, structured around uh, these activities. So we have uh, engagement strategists who focus uh, specifically on uh, strategizing and creating engagement avenues based on the products the customers used or based on their industry uh, or interest groups. For example, um, there are strategists working to create uh, engagements for developers, uh, for customers who are using Zoho products but who are in the real estate vertical. Uh, so it requires a specific kind of content to engage. Then uh, we have a role called customer relations specialists who focus on identifying the core group. Uh, They keep a tab on the top talkers in the community, uh, reach out to them on a regular basis. Uh, They make sure they stay connected with the brand. Uh, Then we have content specialists who are responsible to generate content that focuses on uh, 
that focuses on uh, building more engagements so any content that we create should find meaning with the customer so they must be able to do their jobs better they should be able to do their um, uh, businesses better uh, then we have uh, regional community managers um, uh, because each region has its own dynamics uh, so we have uh, a few regional community managers who take care of specific regions they are responsible for uh, managing the offline engagements that um, that also includes our partners and uh, experts among our customers in their region and um, as most engagements are content driven uh, content driven uh, there's also a lot of uh, need for supporting creatives so we have creative specialists uh, we have community coordinators who coordinate end to end logistics and uh, uh, other support for offline meetups um, so given that um, zoho's desk creator backstage and click are our uh, primary uh, platform enablers uh, so far we have not had the need for full stack developers maybe down the line so it literally takes a village yeah it does <laughs> okay. and uh, what does uh, the community solve the challenges that the other departments in a brand are facing for example what does uh, how does a community help the marketing department or the sales department or the support department uh, that's a very good question so often for community professionals the biggest challenge would be to explain uh, where they fit in in the whole scheme of things uh, and this is an industry industry Uh, a problem common to the community professionals across the industry okay. Okay. so um community doesn't operate uh, in a silo in fact for a product company like ours mm. uh, community operations are cut across all business functions like product management sales marketing and support so community enables all these departments to achieve their goals so we have to work alongside all the internal teams so we have to get along we have to uh, Uh, be in constant conversation with all the teams so if you take um, product management for example uh, community is a very um, uh, rich organic source for uh, product feature ideas even new product ideas uh, it helps uh, shape the product it, in many cases it even steers the product direction uh, community also actually community is supposed to bridge the gap between uh, the expectation and reality between what the customers expect versus what gets delivered mm. um even if not everything the community suggests or uh, requests is implemented at least there's a deep understanding of the customer needs and expectations mm. uh, this is very critical for the product management team so it it also helps us set the right expect, expectations to the customers then if you look at the sales department uh, the discussions in uh, community forum is a uh, very ripe avenue for sales teams to draw insights on customer requirements they get to tailor their upsell and cross sell strategy accordingly and uh, again community becomes a very good avenue to find uh, reference customers for prospects who who are looking for uh, some kind of endorsement or validation for the decisions you know whether they're doing it right whether they have to go with this product or brand whether they need uh, this additional add ons things like that then uh, as far as marketing goes um, customer leaders in the community serve as uh, brand champions mm. uh, we are fortunate to have quite a few of them okay. uh, they help the case studies uh, they help with a lot of case studies they provide critical insights that help position the product better for the target segment uh, they are a ready reckoning list of people that um, uh, probably the journalists or analysts want to go to so that way uh, it helps the marketing teams um, and i think the support team uh, of most brands uh, stand to benefit the most because of the community yes um that's also because most brand communities are typically support and ideas communities okay. so uh, being a self help avenue a considerable chunk of basic support needs uh, um, get offered to the uh, peer support in the community uh, and this frees up the support uh, techs uh, from handling the routine l1 uh, questions and lets them focus on much more critical tickets um, that require troubleshooting you know so and uh, a good community with a lot of peer support happens uh, helps deflect a lot of support costs for the brand okay uh, you've kind of answered my next two questions but i'll still okay. ask them because i want to go uh, deeper into this Okay. as a marketer we always focus on the roi in a community is there anything as roi if it is 
how do we measure them um uh, yeah there are ROIs but see most ROIs are intangible okay. uh, but with the right tools and processes uh, some of the ROIs worth keeping a tab on uh, would be customer retention percentage among those uh, who are on the community versus those who aren't uh, the same uh, applies for upsells and cross sells uh, members uh, upsells and cross sells among members versus non members then the number of brand champions that the community helps on earth brand champions are critical uh, to represent a brand so i can uh, keep telling um, uh, the prospects uh, the customers everywhere that uh, uh, we are good we are great but nothing like uh, getting an endorsement or a uh, customer championing us and uh, the biggest roi i would see would be the deflected support costs and the uh, intangible uh, would would be many uh, so of that uh, the brand love uh, increased uh, adoption adoption of um, uh, product features uh, and word of mouth so the more uh, customers uh, adapt the features uh, optimally for their business the longer um, they stay the stickiness uh, goes up uh, community is basically a group of people who have a similar interest and they fall in love with a product or a platform coming together but it doesn't yeah. mean they'll al- always have the same idea or same taste about a feature or a ui there will always be have a difference of opinion between between the members or between the members and the brand so when Correct. that happens how do you moderate a community what are the challenges that you face when moderating community um uh, okay so moderation is a Uh, is one of the most critical aspects of community management um, a good moderation system is required to keep the community healthy uh, it helps um, uh, to tackle spam uh, with right moderation you know and um, we have to ensure that users interact in good faith and maintain the spirit of community so there will be occasional instances um, of irate customers uh, so that is where the community specific roles kick in so it is very important for the community relations specialists specialists to uh, keep a watch and catch this um, uh, trend early among irate customers if they know that this is going to escalate they have to pick that up and ensure that it doesn't snowball into a bigger problem which will which may end up impacting the overall mood of the community so the moderators have to take responsibility dig deeper to understand what the underlying issue uh, the customer was facing interact with the teams concerned and bring things to a closure so uh, we have to see how uh, the customers go back happy and we have to see how this doesn't cascade into bigger problems mm-hmm. and another important role for moderators would be to ensure that all topics are posted in the right space meant for the particular uh, uh, product or purpose given a community like ours where there are multiple products and uh, this this uh, is very important because um, the topics cannot uh, be left unanswered okay. uh, and it will get missed so in case of deviations the moderators act fast and move them to the appropriate categories uh, so tackling spam bottling strolling vitriol and missing out on moderating genuine posts that some of are uh, some of the typical challenges so we also uh, try and put out clear do's and don'ts uh, automate spam control mm. and um, we have to be firm with members hurling vitriol um, and um, those promoting their wares uh, because it it's a put off for the community uh, and we do these things very diligently we also flag teams if there is any unwarranted delay in moderating the genuine conversations on the community also i'd like to add that uh, moderators keep a tab on the first time participants participants in the community uh, and they have to make them feel welcome Uh, so the moment a new user comes in they have to you know get comfortable and um, feel uh, at home and they should know that this is their space they have there are others like them uh, so to summarize the job of moderators is to ensure that users feel very safe and uh, they uh, develop a sense of belonging to that community and if not moderated properly there's a risk of users airing their concerns or anger in uh, Uh, third party communities or on social media we don't want that okay <laughs> and uh, community doesn't mean that we have to uh, deal with our customers community team also have to deal with the internal teams in the brand as well absolutely so, uh, 
how does that happen why is that essential for the growth of community um so actually uh, uh, i would see it like this community is as much a culture as it is a business function hmm. okay so it is important that this culture cascades to the teams and the departments we work with closely it is important that all of us understand the goals and see what business goals and engaged community uh, takes us closer to hmm. understanding that helps us um, work to our strengths and it takes us a step closer uh, to our customers even as it takes us closer to our customers so collaborating with our teams to understand where we all fit in is uh, is very important for growing uh, and nurturing the community uh, for a startup should they think yeah. about having a community because in their mind they will be thinking about creating a minimum viable product getting a vc True. to fund their product and then mm. scale it uh, they mm. wouldn't have community in the back of their head because their their focus would be on so many other things should they yeah. have one uh, what are the benefits community can offer for a startup uh, again it's a very good question um, it's worth making that investment you know and it doesn't cost much if uh, there are a lot of uh, free platforms out there if a startup wants to set up but then so there are some core benefits that a community brings that's relevant to any individual or business of any size for startups i would see some of the top challenges besides what you mentioned uh, as competition mm. uh, hiring the right team setting the right expectations winning the trust of customers uh, and things like that these are the startup some of the important startup challenges so i think they should approach this at two levels a startup should think about being a member of a community of startups where they find uh, validation for their ideas and they'll also find mentorship okay. uh, other than that uh, it would be a very good idea to onboard their early adopters to their, uh, their to their own brand community so as finding early adopters for um, for the for the product would be super hard at the initial stage uh, an online uh, forum type of community might not be um, practical or might not be the ideal way to go about uh, but it would be very much within their means to um, start uh, virtual meetings have short meetups uh, with customers and potential customers um that will really help it, this facilitates uh, connections uh, with the early adopters which is important for uh, the customers themselves and for the relationship between uh, the startup and their uh, early customers the key is to engage and foster connections with uh, uh, with and among the uh, customer ecosystem so all this will help them align the development and the go to market strategy and will help uh, bridge the gap uh, between what customers expect from them and what they are set out to do uh, and it helps to have a core group right from the start so they also keep moving along with the company they grow along with the startup's uh, uh, growth journey and it, it's nice to have um, somebody uh, as customers with us right from the Beginning. start yeah i hope we have some startup uh, people in our participants today and they'll have this kind of information and they'll work on creating a community for them yeah we'll Fine. be happy to uh, talk and uh, help if anything is required sure. uh, my next question is for start and uh, smbs they don't face okay. the same uh, issues that startups face they are, they would be in a little more comfortable space than a startup for Correct. them how can community help in, enhance what they can offer so the challenges would be similar to the startups but mm. the scale could be super big okay. you know as the customer base uh, starts growing um, at this stage having an online forum um, a discussion forum will mm. help uh, scale the community efforts uh, i see customer retention as one of the biggest challenges for smbs uh, customers today like i said have several options to choose from so customer service is the key differentiator to get ahead of the competition okay. so that's it um, again the challenge is um, uh, scaling support so, so scaling the support teams alone won't be sufficient how how long can you keep uh, putting uh, people at this problem you can't keep growing the team sizes mm. um, so it it won't scale in the long term so if you nurture a parallel ecosystem uh, of uh, uh, yeah, customers uh, where a lot of self help is uh, made possible um, 
that takes that goes a long way it helps it's important for the smbs um, the community also helps steer the direction um, in uh, keeping with what the market is expecting okay that's lovely uh, but for enterprises they are already big companies uh, they should they have a uh, community what benefit can they have, uh, get from them because they already have everything <laughs> yeah so uh, here i'd like to uh, recall uh, a very dated tweet uh, shared by a friend uh, i think this tweet is even more than a year old this was by harsh goenk of rpg groups okay. uh, where he says he flew jet airways banked with yes bank invested in video con shares and got a vodafone connection and was wondering about his choices okay uh, so the point is it is very easy to become irrelevant in today's world mm, that's true. Uh, while it is yeah so while it is true for businesses of any size um, the hit uh, for a large enterprise can be uh, can be very big you know it is uh, it, it you might not be able to uh, come back uh, make a proper comeback if you're a large enterprise so i i see keeping up with the market as a big challenge for large enterprises mm. so having a support and ideas community around their products is a great way to have their ears to the ground you know so i think nokia and blackberry may probably have stayed relevant <laughs> if they have community if they have listened yes, to their community if, if, yeah if they yeah if they had their ears to the ground yes so community is basically the differentiating factor that uh, it could be that helps could, the enterprises see there could be a lot of market research teams uh, you could uh, do invest in market research you could mm-hmm. be spending in advertising so all this happens see but uh, the kind of uh, inputs or the pulse that you get from your customers we have to be clued into that mm-hmm. okay so and the best way that uh, is possible is to have all your customers in a network okay. you know uh, so where their interactions are possible online offline there is always a, uh, the customers always keep telling us something and you, you, we have to listen mm-hmm. we might not be able to do everything they ask but uh, at least we will know what is missing we know what we have to do or where we went wrong that knowledge probably uh, will not be available otherwise okay. that's great uh how do you personalize the experience of community members who are using different products under the same brand i'm using i'm asking this because personalization is the key to hold customer attention but yeah. uh, uh, for example uh, zoho is a brand that has like 70 plus products uh, in that case how do we uh, personalize the experience for the customers inside the community because we have only one community uh with for different products how do we personalize that experience for them uh how does that work okay so for a multi product brand it's important to have exclusive spaces for each of the products mm. so not only multi product spaces but there is also need for multi locale spaces you know so now uh, we have uh, besides the multi product uh, kind of setup we also have a community for french for uh, german um uh, for spanish uh because uh, customers in this region want to connect with peers in their region in their language they want to they like to have that, that kind of a native community so that is another requirement and for a global brand to connect with the audiences in their regions in their locales it is important that localization is also supported mm-hmm. then other uh, need is the ability to have private spaces within the community from time to time um uh, here uh, in our community we run exclusive programs for our champion customers like the early access program uh, so when the feature is not uh, out there in the market but we want to uh, um, provide early access to a set of customers who have been our champions who are willing to test drive share us the first set of uh, feedback so that we can uh, when the general availability release happens we are much more prepared we the release quality is uh, much more better so for those kind of programs uh, we need private spaces so um, be it a multi tenant space or uh, multiple locales uh, support or private spaces engaging the audience group with the right and relevant content is key so the community spaces um, take care of bringing people sharing all these uh, interests or locales together so that's it um, customer uh, needs also keep evolving 
um, it's easier for them to try products from the same vendor owing to the out of the box integrations that would be available uh, within uh, within a brand mm. and also the familiarity so we we are all um, uh, creatures of habit you know so we don't want to unlearn things too fast so if we are used to a certain uh, pattern we'd like to stick to it as long as uh, we feel comfortable so familiarity with the brand uh, is another thing so even if each product has a different space within the community uh, it's important to ma- uh, make the navigation between the spaces uh, seamless uh, between the public and the private space between the uh, between the products and between the locales it should be uh, easy to navigate all these uh, Uh, spaces so and that is how the zoho community is uh, also structured as the head of zoho head community for 7 plus years there might be some memorable incidents if you like you like if you want to share something with us oh, um there are quite a few um i more than calling those as memorable instances i would think um, there are a lot of gratifying moments mm. um so i think this anybody in, in the customer facing role or anybody passionate about uh, engaging with customers would uh, understand uh, understand that so for me if a customer tells that i've made their day that's the best uh, uh, gift that i'd ever get you know um so there are a lot of gratifying moments some are also delayed gratification but so much worth the delay so one aspect of the community that i find immensely gratifying is how we've had some of our champion customers have our back uh, where we are royally bashed by another member of the community uh, so they step in they understand our side of the challenges it's not that the irate uh, customer does not understand they are frustrated their uh, work gets hampered they are not able to do something they're probably uh, some task is time bound so their frustration Uh, comes comes across in a different it manifests differently uh, on the community so that is where um, our champions step in and uh, you know they have our backs they tell us um, uh, it, it's okay they also privately ping us on um, uh, separate the private channels that we have for champion customers and tell that they are with us and that we don't have to uh, the feedback too seriously Uh, it is a very satisfying experience to know that uh, your work has played a part in bringing the customers closer to the brand you know they that they are willing to stick mm. uh, uh, you like your friends so that comes with only with a lot of conviction on either sides uh, the customers should really be into the brand then so they would be into the brand because um, they value the people behind the brand and i think that's a beautiful thing that's a lovely story thanks for sharing with us thank you uh, for the last uh, question of this segment how does community impact customer experience um i guess it, it's a um, community is a space where customers from any stage in their journey find relevance um, for example for rookies it's a great, great place to start learning and uh, making a lot of useful connections mm. for pros it's a space where they can share their knowledge and gain recognition uh, people like to be Uh, acknowledged for their skills nobody today cares about uh, goodie bags uh, hoodies t-shirts uh, none of those perks nobody cares for all those material rewards but people like to be acknowledged and um, applauded for their skills so pros have that kind of a space um, and for those in the middle uh, it's an opportunity to upskill those are on the journey from uh, being a rookie to becoming a pro True. it's a great space to Uh, upskill so a good happening community where customers get to learn make connections and also gain recognition uh, has a very positive impact on their uh, experience with the brand okay uh, if you are talking about customer engagement and providing wholesome customer experience then we should definitely talk about our session sponsor zoho sales iq the customer engagement intelligence platform can help your customers instantly reach out to your support team The platform also offers multiple features that would arm your support agents to resolve your customer queries. If you want to try it, you can schedule a demo with us for and or sign up for a free 15-day trial to know it yourself. I'll share the demo link in the chat section. And with this, we'll start the Q&A session. You can put 
fellas you can post your questions in the chat section and vidya will answer them and thank you vidya for uh, staying with us for uh, 30 minutes and answering all our questions thank you it has been amazing to be able to share this journey uh, i hope uh, we get to share a lot more thank you with members if you have any questions you can post here in the chat section I see one of our power users in Canto here. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Terry. Peter Koy has thing. asked, are you asking more than email for communications or other chat for building a community? Uh, we rely on, um, we rely extensively on Zoho Click. Uh, that helps us uh, connect more contextually uh, with the community members. Not everybody joins the channels, but we keep it open for the Zoho user group members. um so we have uh, a lot of um, offline so we use groups that are city based and uh, interest based so for each of the groups we have an associated uh, click channel so we engage on the forums on the click channels and uh, during the meetups in person uh, we try to open up as many avenues as possible to keep uh, engaging with the customers uh the zoho com- user community is not only restricted for our customers is that right it is open for everyone it is open for everyone uh, people have to be uh, users have to be members to participate but it's read only is available for everyone mm-hmm. and you don't have to necessarily be a zoho customer you can sign up to community uh terry has asked how do i find more about our local zoho user group uh if you go to community.zoho.com uh, you will find all the details there terry so we uh, um i hope we have a group in your city if not you can uh, um, leave your uh, details with pragdesh or me uh, we'll see which city you are from and probably create one we are in the mode of uh, expanding to more cities we want to set up as many local groups and we want our customers um, some of our customers in the in their cities to take the lead and run these uh, user groups uh Terry, we are also available on LinkedIn. I am under Pragatish Jai Chandran and Vidya is under Vidya Vasudev. Vidya Vasudev, yes. You can reach out to us if you want to know more about how to reach out to them or set up the local uh, user group. Terry Cohen has said, awesome and inspiring session, Vidya. Thank you, Terry. That, those are very kind words. Uh, sure. Uh, if you, anyone has any other questions, you can post here in the chat section. Or if anyone wants to speak, I'll give them the mic access. So you you cannot check out community.zoho.com. So we are also in the process of uh, building out lot more interest-based groups. Right now we have for developers, for real estate, e-commerce, healthcare, for startups, uh, for SMBs. Uh, if these are some groups that you would be interested in, feel free to join in those groups. We keep doing a lot of virtual. Uh, uh meetups physical events uh, a lot of knowledge sharing happens on these groups from time to time different uh, product teams um we don't bombard you with any marketing content okay. <laughs> i promise you that so we'll we'll just uh keep giving you resources that you will find it uh, useful for your business is yeah. the community feature included in zoho 1 or is it a separate feature yeah so um uh if you look at zoho community it is powered by 34 uh, a combination of 34 zoho products so primarily the forums runs on the uh, community module in zoho desk this would definitely be a part of zoho one it is there in zoho one um for the offline uh, meetups for the user groups uh, we rely on zoho creator for the back end and zoho backstage for the front end uh, then for each of the groups the associated click channels that i told you about um Uh, it is on zoho click so forum uh, is uh, is a very happening place if you have not been there you should get there okay. and you will find us uh, you will find a lot of um, users hurling brick bags but we are okay we, we like to keep things transparent like that and yash has asked has the pandemic changed how businesses interact with their customers um it has uh, yash um so see earlier um there was this per- perception that uh, uh you have to be face to face with customers to win a deal uh, right but in saas of course a lot of things happen online but the pandemic i think has taught a very big lesson 
you know so i think it, it just shook the world and the impossible uh, became possible uh, we didn't think that for example we didn't think we'd be able to scale and do several virtual meetups we were able to do and a lot of customers that shared their story during stories during the uh, covid shutdowns uh, told us how they were able to remote these these were customers from across verticals there were people from um, uh, real estate from advertising industry um, uh, furniture you know so a lot of industries but they all shared their stories of how uh, pandemic has changed the way they do business it's changed for us uh, but again all said and done i am this um, uh, i am very conventional and traditional in the sense that i believe nothing um, takes away uh, the power a face to face interaction has any day that comes first but today i guess uh, we can do without too much face to face diana has asked are you familiar yeah. with any But, communities that a business has created and made them subscription based or should they remain as free access yeah i'll come to that before that i think jean has uh, another question how mm. do we get to that forum that you mentioned so um, from community.zoho.com you will find link to the forums or you can just go to forums.zoho.com uh dana are you familiar with any communities that a business has created and made them subscription based or should they remain as free access um i don't know how many communities are subscription based uh, but communities should be kept free for its members because it it's mostly going to be the customers uh users of that brand so um it should be uh, uh, kept free but there are uh, if you are referring to community vendors uh, there are platforms that businesses use to build their communities like uh, jive lithium these are all um, super uh, expensive but uh, and they price based on the number of user licenses uh, there are also a lot of uh, open sources if you want to set up from community and there is always zoho desk <laughs> community module i have just shared the linkedin uh, profiles of uh, vidya and me you, if you want you yeah, can reach out to us directly we'll yeah. be always active if you have any other questions anyone anyone wants to have access to mic thank you terry thank you jean thank you thank you so much thank you for taking the time um, to join in and stay through this we'll be sharing the recording in a week uh, with all of the registry registrants so that wouldn't that shouldn't yeah. be an issue thank you lance thank you terry if that's it we can wrap up today's session thank you for joining us uh, feel free to drop in um, any questions you might have through linkedin linkedin uh, like pradesh has already shared our ids you can write into pradesh or me we'll be more than happy to connect thank you vidya thank, thank you for you, your time yes. it's been a Thanks, pleasure thank you god bless you to have a great week ahead all of you thank you